What up guys and welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this infinite zoom out or zoom in. You can create this with AI. I'm using Mid Journey here. They have a great new feature which is perfect for this effect but you can do exact the same thing with normal photos or videos. So just skip the AI Mid Journey part and jump right into the edit in After Effects. So let's dive right in. So I created this picture of a Lamborghini on a racetrack. I picked my favorite one and upscaled it. And yeah, that's the picture we are gonna start with. And you might have seen these new functions here in mid-journey. You can now zoom out two times. So my idea was to zoom from the racetrack out into a TV screen. From the TV screen, I want to zoom out in a luxury modern studio and like keep the zoom going. And I've got some pretty amazing results. It's, it's crazy how, the, how this actually works. And I just repeated this process. I was always just go in here for the custom zoom and yeah typing how I want to extend the frame what I want to zoom through and just typed it in and yeah I tried as many times as it needed to get a cool result and yeah that's pretty much the process you just need to repeat for the picture so find one picture you want to zoom out on start with and from there on just use the custom zoom and type in how you want to extend the frame yeah and now you just have to repeat the process save all the pictures to your folder and make sure you don't miss any of these. And that's basically the AI mid-journey process. You can do exactly the same with a real camera, with photo or video. Just film your subject and then go back a couple of steps and film exact the same angle again, go back. So you just have to repeat the process as long as you want the zoom to happen. And now it's time to start the editing process. So fire up After Effects and we create a new project. And in here we import the AI footage or the real footage we have shot. In my case, I'm pressing Command I to bring up the import window and go through my folders and and choose the pictures I have created. Boom, that's the one. I've just created eight pictures. You can create as much as you like, as much as you want to zoom back. So we start really close on the racetrack, go a little bit back, back, more back, even more back, even more back, 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 and we end up in the room. So that's pretty crazy, pretty cool. And yes, so let's keep some structure, put all your footage in your folder. And first of all, we want to create a sequence. So click here on the sequence button and yeah, 1080 by 1920, 25 frames, five seconds works for me. We name it nine by 16, perfect. So I just created another frame because I want to zoom out even further. So let's upscale this one in the meantime. So we have 10 pictures. I think 10 picture in total is a solid zoom and that totally works for me boom and now the first thing just drag in the first shot the basic one and now just drag on the second shot on top so make sure the second one is really on top here and press t for the opacity bring down the opacity and now we rescale our second shot so we make it bigger 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 since we exactly fit the first frame so the size of the first frame you can go here to the full resolution to make sure you make it fit perfectly boom and now we can bring up the opacity from my first clip again and now really important select the second layer and draw a mask around of the size of the first frame below boom and now we can invert the mask and bring back the opacity with t of our second layer boom okay nice so we've just created these two layers and we zoom slowly out and to actually see what's happening we create a new null object and we call this the zoom and we parent both layers to the zoom so boom simple like that just both select them and then parent them to the zoom and if we now open up scale of the zoom we are scaling in that's magic right and now we actually just keep repeating this process so let's drag in number three on top of number two and get down the opacity bring up the scale of the layer number three and try to match the scale as best as possible this is looking good and now let's do the same again roughly draw a mask of the size of the second frame boom invert the mask and bring up the opacity of the new layer and last step parenting the new layer to the zoom as well so when we go to the zoom we can zoom in even further yes and that's the basic principle you can do this with real footage and you can also do this with ai footage now that's really cool right all right let's repeat this process for another seven layers
All right, I'm done. I just put together everything. So we just scaling down from picture one, super, 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 super small in the distance, all the way out to our picture 10. And yes, connected everything, parented everything to our layer. And yes, now we can create some cool zoom in. So when we now change here, the zoom, we see what actually is happening. And this is pretty cool, I think. Nice. So let's animate the zoom. I'm going down to, I think, even 0.3. Uh, maybe we start at 0.25. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Let's start here. Scaling. We do a keyframe. Then we go all the way in, maybe over three seconds. And we scale in to our car. Boom. I think that's, that's looking pretty good. So, boom. So the first part is pretty fast. So we might have to change that. So select the keyframe, go into the graph editor. And let's slow down the first part and make sure at the end we got slow as well. So woo, we have something like this. This is really nice. We can even go slower, slower here. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. So we have like five seconds. Yes, that's pretty cool. So at the beginning, I want it a little bit slower. Shroom. This is cool. Even slower. That's nice. That's pretty cool. And now we want some motion blur because we're moving through so much space. We want to see natural motion blur. Now we need to do is activate motion blur in our composition right here, enable it, and then select all the layers with command A and then activate motion blur here and boom. We see right away, this looks amazing. We have natural motion blur. So to showcase the motion blur, no motion blur, motion blur activated. It makes a big difference, boom. But this looks still a little bit static. We can also change maybe the position. So at the end, let's do a keyframe at position of the graph, show all our keyframes. And at the end, we want to be around here so we center the Lamborghini and at the beginning we want to center here as well so we have a slight position keyframing going on here perfect so this works for me and we can add one more thing to make it look more natural so we open up the rotation by pressing R um, clicking on the stopwatch while pressing option on the keyboard now we bring up the expression and in the expression we want to type in wiggle enter and I think 2 comma 2 is a good amount so we're actually setting the amount for the shake how much of a rotation a random shake we want to have 2.2 yeah this is looking good this is looking natural Yes, so now you see on the rotation, we have some random shake going on here and we are still, we see the shake actually pretty good. So if we increase that amount, um, let's say we go for five, first place, zoom. You see like this shake just got faster and it definitely different. Like it's a little bit, a little bit off. So let's stick with the two here, but let's increase maybe the intensity. This looks all right. This is still a natural shake while looking good. Yes, I think this is pretty cool, right? And we also, we can trim our work area to the area we actually want the effect to happen. So around four seconds, press shift command X. If you use my shortcuts, boom. That's a zoom. That's even too much for me. So let's bring up the rotation again and the wiggle. We want to have two by two. Yeah, so this looks pretty good to me. And that's how you can create the infinite zoom. And of course you can just pre-compose all of the clips here. Um, go name it anyhow. And with the pre-compose clip, we can just go to time and go to time reverse layer. And now we have a zoom out. So you can play around with that. You can even maybe increase the length of the composition. So we go up here to composition, composition settings. Maybe let's say we want to have a eight second composition, final video length. So we can copy our main part. So in this case, we're zooming out, right? So we're zooming out and let's disable time reverse layer. So at the end, we're zooming back in, boom. So this can also be a pretty cool effect to play around with that going out and going back in again so maybe something like this yeah and if you edit that on the beat 
this is pretty dope, right? So I'm super happy with what we've got right here. Please let me know down in the comments how do you like this effect and what you're gonna create with it. Do you use regular footage and go out and shoot in different focal lengths and distances or do you use mid journey to generate pictures and zoom out and work with AI picture? I'm super excited to keep going with the long form tutorials and let me know what you think about these tutorials, how we can improve the quality, what tutorials you want to see next and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I see you in the next one.